Boo, I'm here. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, grubber. It's art day. Okay, come on, microphone. Just get along with me today. Thank you, Jeff. I put a whole whopping ten minutes into it. <laughs> Just to see if it would work. And it did, because I had so many issues for a few months with like eczema, and then I was just like, I'm just not gonna wear makeup for a bit, and now I wanna wear it again, so here we are. Of course, I'm always gonna have my lazy days where I'm just like, nah, I don't really wanna wear anything. But you know, today is one of those days where I feel like wearing makeup. There we go. Thank goodness my setting spray is really, really, really good because I sneezed a lot and uh, it like made me tear up a little. My setting spray is so good that I can cry and it won't even move. The only thing that can take this off is literally a chemical designed to break apart <laughs> this shit. It's safe for eyes, of course, but damn. No, no, I just I just had a little bit of sneezing to do, you know. <laughs> My daily quota of sneezing. I'm sure it's because of the bugs. I mean, they're still in the house, you know. Being in the room is not very fun, allergy-wise, but what can you do? But yeah, so today is art day. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I probably should have um, gotten this already ready because I'm probably gonna jump into it pretty soon, but. Whoa. There we go. Just had to separate some eyelashes. Oh, okay. Let me see here. I have not gotten an email yet from Amazon. I'm so, like, upset from the package thing. Like, I don't even mind that I didn't get the thing delivered today. Just looking at what they did. Like, obviously I can't show you the picture that they sent me, but it's like me knowing where I live and knowing where they left the package is so fucking stupid. I'm so upset. This is literally the dumbest thing ever. You're like, it's been left on or near your front porch. It's like all the way down the fucking road. In the snow. Just fucking flopping about in the wind. On the side of the road, pretty much. A very busy road. I literally got the picture and then went out like less than 10 minutes later. And the package was already stolen. They probably opened it and were like, ah, oh, shit. This isn't worth stealing. Just made this person's day worse. But they don't care about that. Anybody who steals packages is just like a giant piece of shit. Like, come on, man. You're stealing a package? Come on. <laughs> I don't- I don't pity them at all. I really don't. <clears throat> also, if they're stealing packages, I doubt that they're cooking good food, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a lot of people do it because they can't afford stuff, but then they wouldn't be able to afford the food that they would probably use it for. I don't know, man. It's it's tricky. It's very tricky. I feel bad, but like at the same time, it's like, come on, man. I live in a very, very like rich town. Why is this happening? 
Like, good luck finding a house underneath two million here. I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe it was a teenager. Oh my god, if it was a PS5. No, see, I wouldn't... God. I don't know, man. I, I feel like I'd rather go out and get a PS5 in person. I wouldn't trust that thing being shipped. It's just gonna be centipede. They're gonna open it up. It's gonna be like a deadly animal. Ha! That'll teach you. No, they would just kill it though. The poor thing. Typically live animals require a signature though. So like they actually have to go to the door. Not if it kills them first. Well, I wouldn't be owning any deadly centipedes. <sighs> That's the thing. Because, <laughs> like, if anything happens, I don't particularly want to die. And that's also another thing. There's no, like, anti-venom for these things in Canada. The only real anti-venoms that they have here in southern Ontario are, like... Like, we have, like, one... Uh, we have one species of rattlesnake here, which, like, it's the Massasauga rattlesnake. But to get bit by one, I would be shocked. I have been looking, actively looking for Massasauga rattlesnakes my whole time living here. I have never seen one. I have never seen one. And, like, they might have a couple common rattlesnake uh, anti-venoms because there are a lot of venomous snake keepers in Ontario. But, like, it just... We're just not prepared for it. So imagine getting bit by some strange Asian centipede where I don't even know if there's anti-venoms that might exist for them. That'd be strange. But then again, there are ways to combat it because, but a lot of people don't know this. So, you guys know what histamine is, right? So, a lot of, well, pretty much all, I can't say, well, I can't say all, but to my knowledge, the vast majority of centipede bites Jeff Jeff, you're grounded. All right, so <clears throat> to my knowledge, centipede venom is well, it's a cocktail of different kinds of things, but the vast majority of it is histamine, which is a chemical released by your body when you have an allergic reaction. So imagine that itchy, sweaty, burny, swollen, horrible allergic feeling, and that's just been injected into your body along with a few other fun things. Hey, Elf. You can combat that with antihistamines. Doesn't kick in very quick. I'm sure there's an injectable version. I mean, you could probably use an EpiPen. That might help. Because that will help decrease um, a histamine response, if I recall correctly. But again, don't take this as medical advice. Please. Please don't. But it might be able to help. But people don't know <laughs> the chemical composition of exotic venomous centipede venom. I would go as far as to say almost nobody knows. Only a few select weirdos like me and other centipede keepers in the hobby. Or they should know it. And I guarantee you a lot of people that don't keep centipedes also don't know what their centipede's venom contains. The main one I know is... Um, is, uh, is histamine. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not a redhead, though. I'm blonde with brunette tips. Although, when I did do my hair earlier, it, uh, it was red. But yeah, I would, I would like to refrain from the sexy thing in here. But either way, I guess thank you, Salmon. 
and thank you for the bits. Alright, we are going to get into the art soon, though. Because I really want to... I want to see if I can finish... Um, I want to see if I can finish this piece today. I don't know if I can. Odin, you're quite alright. Leftovers, it's a taco bowl. You'll see in just a moment, Sam. I'm gonna get it set up. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. This sketchbook is really falling the fuck apart. Here's the remote. There we go. Hold on. Uh, I just have to reconnect this. Properties. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sorry, my, there's, there's a bit of a mess on the floor. <laughs> So this is the piece I'm working on currently. I'm showing you, I'm showing you, relax, it's right there. Goodness. <laughs> so, this is the piece I'm working on currently. I really don't want to destroy my, um, I don't want to destroy my sketchbook, but I don't want to leave this flap out. It's literally falling apart. This sketchbook is like... at least 13 years old, and I'm just starting to get to this one. I want to fill it, though. Okay. <clears throat> I need a piece of paper... to test the pen on. Oh, hold on. Okay, that one works. And then bring this over here. Thank you, Sam. <coughs> oh my god. My throat's all clogged. Okay. So, here we go. Let's see. So, to go over some of the stuff I've been working on the last few weeks, every single Friday I've been taking time to kind of work on this piece. So, Thorn is pretty much done. Uh, this area needs a little bit more work, specifically in here. Uh, the tree, honestly, I don't want to overdo it, so I'm probably going to leave it. There's a chance I'll add a little bit more, like shading in some areas to combat the uh, the little wisps. Uh, I didn't paint it. I've been doing ink. This is this is an ink piece I've been working on, yeah. Um, down here could use a tiny bit of work. There needs to be a little bit more shade work, at least here. Here I'm probably gonna leave as like a border, so I'm actually not gonna be doing like like different kinds of shadows along here. I might do it along the edges just to add a little bit of definition to the edge. But the lighting from the actual scene, I don't think I'm going to have included on the border because I do want it to act as a border and be a little bit separate, but then also kind of in interconnected through places like in here where it kind of twists up into it. Um, I want to do a little bit more depth in a couple places, 
Yeah. But yeah, that's specifically gonna be like a here thing. So we'll we'll sort that out. I want to get a little bit of definition over here and make sure that, it, that it's like actually like a, a defined edge without interrupting the piece too much. There we go. And I also need to do something about the, um, the stairs here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I dare. Okay. gonna get a couple little spots that have been irking me over the last week before I forget. What chaos? The, uh, peace? Are you talking about the art? If so, then yeah, this one is probably gonna be- yeah, I'm gonna be putting this in the, um... I'm probably gonna be putting this in... the store as, like, prints and also on a shirt. Yeah, I um I really like the high detail sci-fi fantasy kind of like horror uh gory graphic depressing stuff. It's always been my f I'm really heavily inspired by like 80s animation and art. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> I'm really, really, really inspired by the 80s art, because it's just so fucking... Like, if you look at 80s Warhammer art, oh my god, it's just so fucking good. I love it. And the 80s just were not afraid to be super graphic, you know? And I really appreciate that about it. So I'm... I want to introduce that more so into my art. I just have to learn how to draw people now, because, <laughs> you know, I can't really do that. <laughs> okay, Sam. Okay. So let's see. Come on. A couple crumbs underneath there. I could feel it. Like the princess and the pea, except it's the artist and the crumbs.
Oh yeah, so I finished Mr. Robot last night. It's fucking... bizarre. But it made a lot of things make sense now that I finally got to the end. I don't really know if I recommend it to people. Like, it's very... weird. But like... It, it's, it's very messy until you get close to the end. Like, the first season is relatively solid, and then the middle seasons are kind of like, okay, this is all over the place, and then the final season is like, what the fuck is going on? But like, not in like a, what's gonna happen next? It's like, what? <laughs> this is strange. It's like, it's like, it's like there's twists that's like, that's a very strange way to take this. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird, but like, if you're into really weird shit, you might like it. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. But like, if you've already started it, you may as well watch more. Uh, yeah, I'm all caught up on Boba Fett as well. Season finale, huh? You know... It all happened so fast. That season just... <clears throat> not gonna drop any spoilers, of course. But... It all happened so fast. <laughs> I don't know, man. And I'm dripping. They really did. They really, really did. Although Disney's really quick about getting out the next portion, so I'm hoping that we get it sooner than later. It'll probably come out in like the fall or something, right? Because there's no way they can just leave it there. There's no way. Hey, Crusader! Cheers, I've got a beer. It was basically Mandalorian 2.5, you're not wrong. And hey, Victor! I don't know. Again, I don't want to drop spoilers, but based on what I've seen so far from the book of Boba Fett, I. I don't know, I've got a lot I could say, but I don't want to say it for fear of maybe spoiling it for some people. So we'll just DM about it later, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, I've only had half a beer, so like, I, and I'm not planning on like drinking a lot right now or anything, you know? I want to actually be able to focus on my art. So like, 
maybe I'll grab another beer? Because I had this beer with dinner. I've been nursing it for like an hour and a half. <laughs> if I'm honest, I've been very distracted. So like, it's not bad room temperature though. It's still a little cool. But I don't want to like get drunk right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, go grab your wine. Excuse me. I'm just saying I'm probably not going to be drinking too much tonight because I'm going to be drawing. But if we end up hitting a thousand subscribers tonight, which will be very exciting if we do, which I don't know if we can, but then I would stay and I would like finish drawing around 11 or midnight and then maybe have a couple shots with you guys or something. Oh my god, Shell, there's so much I could talk to you about, but I can't because of spoilers. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna make it look so much better when I finish up with these lines. And then when I get the outer shading going. <laughs> we'll do a B scene at some point. I promise. I promise. I did like how the B turned out, though. Oh, fuck. You know what? I might have to just do it. Oh, I'm so sorry, sketchbook. Oh, God, I can hear it cracking. Oh. This is just gonna become a collection of papers instead of an actual book. I'm gonna have to... Oh, God. I can't. I can't. I can't have the thing folding out. Not if I'm going to be working on the border. Sorry you can't really see it. It's hard to have my camera at an angle that allows you to see it properly. Okay. Now. Let's see. Uh, no, this is not uh, a Skyrim painting, no. <laughs> it's also not a painting. I've already told you that.
ice cans. Well, this is ink work, but you can just call it a drawing, and this is, um... This is, like, some concept art that I'm working on for a graphic novel that I want to make. But no, this is not Skyrim. This is just a very high-detail concept piece, pretty much. Auto updating journal. That would defeat the purpose of the journal, though. You should have to manually put it in. How does the it it, it uh, dries really quickly? It's um, it's like a, a felt tip, and also so it's it's a micron pen, Sakura micron. It um. It doesn't put a whole lot of ink in. Think of it kind of like a tattoo gun in a way. Kind of. Not exactly. Like, I'm not injecting ink into it. But with a tattoo gun, you have to go over it again and again and again and again. And you kind of have to do the same thing with this. So it dries really quick. And also, I wouldn't just be like, Bleh, like as soon as I put it down. But it's a very fast drying ink. Pretty much. Uh, thank you, Salmon. But it, but it is, it is a concept piece for a graphic novel I'm working on. But that probably won't be able to come out for a few years because my art style takes so long, and I don't have enough time to work on it every single day, of course. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like it. I've been working on developing this style for... on and off for the last... like 16 years of my life? <laughs> so it's... I've had a bit of time to work on it. But half of that was spent not drawing because of, you know, life, bills and shit, work and... reality. So I'm just starting to get back into drawing now, like, formally. It was really hard to be consistent with drawing when I was working a lot. Well, this one so far- oh, I'm sorry, cat. This one so far has probably taken me about six hours? Oh, wrong way. I'll probably be able to finish it today, though. Probably. So this will probably end up being like an eight-hour piece. And it'll probably cost me an entire felt-tip pen. I only have one piece for sale right now, um, but I am planning on adding more. If you want to see more of my art uh, and you have a Twitter or an Instagram, um, I have pages you can follow. I wouldn't mind putting some more up as just like, like prints that people can buy. I just haven't 
had the mental energy to do it. So yeah, I've, I've just got a Teespring store. It's nothing crazy. Um, and then uh, the Nargle Art Instagram and Twitter at the bottom there is for my art. If you want to watch it. Twitter, I post more. Instagram, I only post completed pieces. And I only really started posting to them kind of recently, so there's not like a whole lot going on there. Thank you, Frankenstein. And any anything regarding my graphic novel will be posted on the Nargle Art Twitter, Instagram, and then also my Archaea Zero um, Twitter, because, you know, I'm going to want people to know. <laughs> but um, I'll probably also be uploading some web comics. So if you're interested in that, I'm working on some ideas. I've just, I'm in the process right now of maybe moving and, well, not maybe moving, I'm definitely moving, but I, I'm, I'm building a house this year. So that's, that takes priority over my hobbies. Um, so I'm sorry if I can't put out much this year, but next year I want to try and really take it seriously. Just gotta really focus on the, uh, you know, life. <laughs> it's a little more important right now. But I do want to, like, take time to try and work on shit like I am right now. So Fridays I do art streams. Pretty much. Oh my gosh, Bing. One of my cats is snoring right now. Yeah, true. It It's hard to stay consistent with it if you have... Um, a, if you have a lot of shit going on. Oh, I don't do individual... Um, like... Like, I, I don't personally send out art. I host them on sites like Teespring and then they print it and send it out to people. So if you want to buy prints, like the, the print that I have available right now, or any future prints, it would be through any of the sites that I have it. So I, I wouldn't be doing it, but you could get a piece. It just wouldn't be, like, personally mailed out by me because that's just... I don't have enough time and I've got way too much anxiety to do it. <laughs> so I let other sites take care of it for me. <laughs> for sure, yeah. I have one piece available right now. Uh, but this one is going to go up when I finish it. So, Shell... Um, if, you, if you look... Excuse me. If you... Look up Streamlabs posted. Uh, actually, no, you might need. Shell, could you post it again? The Teespring link? It's only got one art piece, but there's like shirts and stuff. I just thought it was. I was just playing around with it. But if, if you wanted a print, I do have them available on that site. Yeah, I have the dumbest hiccups and sneezes. Wait till you hear me sneeze. It's literally the stupidest thing. Or if someone subscribes or drops a hundred bits, you can hear it. <laughs> I have my sneeze as my alert sound for subscribers and and bits. It's uh It's real fun when someone gifts a hundred subs. Will they hear it? Probably. Yeah, no, that was that was me. <laughs> that was me. Making the worst sounds. It's really, really um, 
nerve-wracking in public because everybody looks at you. My sneeze is fucking atrocious. Let's give this a try. Oh, thank you, Victor. Oh gosh, you don't have to apologize for anything, Frank. It's all good, man. But thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. I I'm glad that I can, like, actually... Like, have my art online and have people like it. Because... <laughs> I spent most of my life not really showing my art to people and then now I'm finally starting to kind of do something with it and it's it's cool to see it like it's not really going anywhere yet because I just started like three weeks ago oh thank you Shell. oh that's true they won't even hear it Shell that's right I have alerts off right now so they're not distracting <laughs> oh I'm sorry oh thank you very much Okay, never mind, you're not allowed to hear my sneeze. True shell, good call. I forgot, I have it turned off here. <laughs> but how you doing, Nero? Oh, thanks, man. Maybe. I mean, if anything, uh, if you want to just even just send them my Twitter, that would also be cool. But yeah, if they want to pop into stream, by all means. I, I only right now do art on Fridays, but I only do it when I have over 500 subscribers. Because um, my life is very busy, so... I... To justify spending four days a week on Twitch, I need to at least kind of somewhat be making a little bit of money here, if that makes sense. But I mean, we've we've got like just about 800. Oh, thank you! Thank you, Sap. We have exactly 800 now. Oh, thank you so much, Sapper. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I really appreciate that. So I'm building a house this year, so like, maybe when the house is built, I'll be able to justify streaming on here a little more. 
but right now I'm like... I need as much extra money as I can get. Not saying I need to make it through Twitch, you know, it's not- I'm not- I'm not really on here, like, you know, just to make money, but... If I- if you guys want me to be here more, I- I do need to justify it somehow. But I think you guys get it. Yeah, it is Darkwood. I'm listening to the Darkwood soundtrack. <laughs> Did the morning, uh, the morning sound get you? Like, oh, why do I feel, like, suspense and despair right now? Oh yeah, it's the mu- the morning music! Yep. Okay. One sec, I just really gotta focus on these specific lines. Frankenstein. <laughs> Thank you very much for your sub. Well, welcome. Welcome to uh, the stream uh, properly. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> now you get access to beautiful emotes. Oh, apparently we hit a hype train too. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It is Friday, so some things might be a little slower. The weather? Uh, well, it was raining today, and it's like one degree out, so, you know. <sighs> it wasn't even raining hard, it was like, drizzling. The snow is melting. So disappointed. do I have? Oh my gosh. Where to begin? Hold on, I'll respond to Stray first. 
How long did it take for me to draw this? Um, probably about six or seven hours so far. And animals that I have. All right, well, I've got a long list. I've got... Um... Oh, thank you, Sapper. Thank you very much for the gifted subs, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hmm. So, for animals. Thank you, Sapper. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> huh. So, I have three hairless cats. I have four tortoises. I have two quail. I have a pig. Thank you, Jean. Um, I have about a... 150 spiders, more than 100 of which are tarantulas. I have about 15 giant centipedes, uh, some of which are about a foot long uh, and almost two inches wide. Um, I have beetles. I have about 30 or so isopod colonies. I have a bunch of feeder colonies, some of which I have to get rid of because I've actually developed a little bit of an allergic reaction to them, which kind of sucks. Um, I've got a bunch of vinegar runes. I've got a shit ton of scorpions. Um, I've got a few different kinds of snails. I've got like ugh, I don't know, several different species of millipede. I have um, oh god, I just I have an entire room dedicated to invertebrates. Like, I have literally thousands of them. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad you like my art. But yeah, by all means, follow. And every Friday I do art streams. During the week, I play video games because I love video games a lot. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, thank you very much. So if you pop in on Fridays, I'll generally be here drawing. So thanks. Oh, oh yeah, I've got a lot of animals. <laughs> a lot of animals. But I, I've always had animals in my life. You know, I had family that worked at the zoo. I had family that worked with a bunch of other s animals. I can't get too specific because I don't want to, like, dox myself. But, yeah. Oh, no, it's all good. Dihydro dihydro dihydroxyphenyl... Whoa. Phenyl... Phenyl... Phenethylamine? That's a long word, yeah. Dihydroxyphenyl... Phenethylamine. <laughs> Fucking, well, it is a long word. But I kind of got it. Dopamine for short. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Dihydrogen monoxide. Yeah, Claw? I, I, yeah, I've got a lot of animals. It's true. <laughs> I, got, I got a few. <clears throat> but yeah, if you guys do like my art, um, then consider following my art Twitter uh, and Instagram. Mostly the Twitter, because I actually post stuff there a little more frequently. I only post finished stuff on my Instagram. Excuse me. But I do... It's Nargle Art. So if you look at the bottom, Instagram and Twitter, Nargle Art. Um, that's me. Because uh, I plan on doing graphic novels in the coming years. So this is kind of like a concept art for one of my graphic novels that I wanted to do. So if any of you guys were interested in following along with the process, then if you want to... If you want to throw me a follow, by all means, I would love it. Uh, you know. If you want, of course. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh... I got, I got a few of those. <laughs> 1 a.m. or Japan. Yeah, I don't know. By, by all means, go sleep, Frankenstein. Of course. Um, I do log in at 7 my time, which is an hour ago, so I apologize. It's really late for you, but if you ever feel like staying up late on a Friday and watching me do the art, by all means. I also was considering doing um, a YouTube video of the 
progress of this. So I'm gonna condense like eight hours of stream down into like the length of a song. Um, <laughs> so if you want to see that, I'll probably be uploading that to my Archaea Zero um, YouTube channel. Point and laugh at the British person. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Yeah, Sean, you're welcome. Yeah. So yeah, by all means, if you want to follow along. But yeah, sleep well when you get there, and thanks for popping in, eh? I really appreciate it. And thank you for the sub, too. <laughs> yeah, now you have the most beautiful uh, emotes. Oh, thank you, Shell. That'll make it a lot easier. So, show me what art does. I want to see. Is it just for, like, the, um, the art social medias? Oh, you might have to put a, a gap between them. That might throw them off. It's re Yeah, it's reading as one link for me. That's okay. If you, if you like, you know, do the BR or whatever. I mean, I don't, probably not an actual, like, BR, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Thing, I can smell you from here. Stinky little creature. You need a fucking wet wipe. Perfect! Thank you. Thank you, Shell. I appreciate it a lot. Okay. So. Time to do the base of these trees, and then I'm gonna go over the details and kind of define them a little better. Uh, but I want to get the base kind of... Um... Oh, fuck, what do I even call it? <laughs> Just the, the base in there. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> Geek Felix, wow! What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you so much, Geek! What the heck? Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I really appreciate that! <laughs> well, I guess now, now you don't anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Glad you guys appreciate my art so much. Thank you so much, Geek Felix! Seriously, oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, just... Mm. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oh, gosh. Alright, alright. Art, 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 art. <laughs> Thank you. Many, 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 many appreciations. I love art. I know. I should be doing more. Well... A lot of the graphic novels that I'm going to be working on are going to be pretty secret as I'm doing it, but what I'm thinking is starting the graphic novels on stream and then keeping the rest- like maybe I would do the first chapter on stream and like stream when I'm working on it and then after that you got, you're going to have to fucking wait. <laughs> and get the finished product. Or maybe I'll have a Patreon or something and then and then I can upload stuff and people can pay to see some progression. But I don't want to like just have the whole thing out there um, before it's ready, you know? And I don't want it to leak. Although I will want to have a physical copy. So like, it's so complicated because I want to share my art, but I also want to like spend 60 hours a week just working on my graphic novels like I used to. Yeah. I could do that, no problem. Oh, good luck. Good luck, Shell. Good luck. I'm here to break your heart. 
<laughs> Here to break your fucking heart. It's a habit. I'm good at breaking hearts. Shell read my book, and the ending made him depressed. Shell, you should know me by now. I'm inspired by 80s sci-fi and fantasy. Not a whole lot of happiness there. You know? One day it'll be public, and then everybody- then everybody else can- can, um, be upset with you. <laughs> Excuse me. One day. Okay, I gotta make sure not to make this too dark, though, because it is in the background. That's one thing that I held on to. Things in the foreground have to have thicker, bolder lines, and things in the background need to be lighter and have thinner lines. That is one piece of knowledge that I did hold on to that has helped me quite a bit. So if any of you guys need any help with depth perception in art, that's how you do it. God, you know it's very exciting. In exactly two weeks, I'll be playing Elden Ring. That's true! On the 25th, I will not be doing an art stream, I'll be doing an Elden Ring stream. So keep that in mind. But then every Friday after that, I'll be doing art again. It's just it comes out on the Friday, so I have to play it the first day, right? Oh, thank you, Chaos! <laughs> Thanks, man! I appreciate it! Thank you for the sub! 14 months! Crazy, man. Yeah, Sean, you should. You should, because I'm going to be playing it um, three days a week. Hey, Zertrana, how you doing? Sick. 
Sup. Sup, sees. I'm all out of beer. I'm gonna go grab another one. One sec, I'll be right back. Excuse me. Mm. Okay. After six years. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, uh,. I honestly just play most of my game on PC these days, you know? Like, why wouldn't I? If I... If I can, I just play it on my PC. And I can, so... That's okay, I still haven't even played the first uh, Horizon anyways. Yeah. Why is it that whenever I stream, that's when everybody messages me? that PlayStation 5s are in such a mess. Is it just a supply chain issue? Is it that the, um... all of the ingredients to make it are just... fucked? Or did they just only make a limited amount and they're just not really feeling like making more? A transit- oh, so it is a supply chain issue. 
Well, that's a COVID thing then. You know? Good news is, is that I probably won't be getting a PS5 for a long time anyway. It, it took me long enough to get a PS4 in general. So, you know. Factory thing. <laughs> Jesus. Man, I feel really lucky that like I have a computer that can play most stuff at good graphics and I have a vehicle and <laughs> I don't need all this new tech. <sighs> Ugh, thanks guys. Hold on, I could blow my friggin' nose. <laughs> Dude, no kidding. Ugh. Honestly, a lot of modern cars you can't even really bring to a mechanic anymore. You have to bring it to a dealership and it's so much more expensive. It doesn't, that's the thing. It's it's like, ugh, it's just, it's so dumb. Fuck. Cars really don't need a lot. Okay, okay, I will admit though, I do like my heated seats. But it also gets like, you know, fucking. <laughs> Sometimes it gets to negative 40 here. <laughs> so, like, that makes sense. I, I would not mind having heated seats. Okay. A heated steering wheel, too. I do not have a heated steering wheel, but I do have heated seats.
My my car doesn't have um, a backup camera or a GPS. I use my phone for GPS if I need it. Oh yeah, Shell, that is good. Printers are so dumb. I love. I like. I need them for my business, but like. You know. The printer I have has been working pretty well for me so far. But I also don't know why so many people feel like they need to buy a new car. I don't really get it. Like, why do you need a brand new car? Huh. Dude, right, Sean? It's actually insane. Printer companies get away with so much shit. Yeah, I've got a- I believe mine's also a 2009. And I also use my auxiliary cable uh, for playing music. I, Whenever I'm going for like a long drive, I usually listen to either uh, Doom music from like Doom Eternal, or I'll listen to um, Army of Mushrooms by Infected Mushroom. That album is, uh, it's good for when you want to go. <laughs> Oh my god, Shell. That's disgusting. Man. <clears throat> yeah, Sean, it's so fucking stupid. I can't stand it. 
I can't fucking stand it. I hate that. It seems like all these companies are super anti-consumer. Like very, very, very anti-consumer. It's very disappointing. That's so stupid. How much money are they really going to lose out on not using USB-C? I like actually. Security risk, yeah. Yeah, man, I feel so scared using USB-C with my fucking Android. Oh no. I'm so unsafe. They use it on their laptops. <laughs> oh.
That's so dumb. Mostly done. I think we're actually finishing this today. <clears throat> There's a little bit more that I want to do on the backing trees. A little bit, not much. But, like... I think, for the most part, we're kind of almost done. Because I don't want to go overboard. You know? I don't want to, um... I don't want to accidentally add too much and then ruin it. So that puts us at about... What would you guys say, like... Would you say eight hours or s I think seven? I think seven hours. There's also the things up. There's a, there's a little more I want to do, but I think I'm mostly done. Yeah, I think seven. Let me see something. Hmm. I've got the same phone as Shell. I 
Okay. Okay. I think that's good, to be honest. I don't want to do it, like, too overboard. I mean, to be fair, I am wearing cargo pants, which have one, two, three, eight pockets, and they're all big. <laughs> Excuse me. Like, oh. like, look, I could fit almost half my arm in this pocket. And then I've got these awesome side pockets. And then I've got pockets down here. These are a little smaller, but like you can fit whatever. And then there's back pockets. But look at how big these pockets are. They're huge. They're huge. This is the way it's true. It's true. Very true. Well, yeah, sorry, I knocked this all over. But yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it as is. Besides, I kind of like the sketchiness of it too, you know? So like... I like, um... I like that it's not, like, perfect, you know? Not everything has to be totally... Perfect. I'll probably show, but you know, that's okay. That's every artist with every single piece, you know. Sorry, just taking a look at it on the phone here. I don't know, I feel like- I feel like it's probably good. The way it is. There's one spot I fucked up, but it's a little late to go back. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's fine. You know what that means? That means I can post it to my Instagram! Oh! I've got 103 followers? I didn't even know. I gained like 50 followers since the last time I checked my art Instagram. Cool! Was it like, was it like 53, I think? Cool. All right. Post. Yeah, yeah, sure.
It's literally just the outside stuff. Everything inside can stay, it's just the outer part. And then there's like a, a smudge here. But actually, you know what? The version I have here that I'm gonna send you um, is fine. I'm just experimenting with what filters look like on it. Honestly, filters are fucking cool when it comes to art. I love putting filters on it because it makes- because I do black and white, right? So like, and with the shading, I don't know, man, it just looks so cool. Just adding all these really neat effects. Oh yeah, no, this smudge is fine. Oh, Bing, please. Please don't. It'd be really cool if people could like retweet it and stuff so other people can see it. I feel like I put a lot of work into my art. I'd really love it if more people could see it. I need I just need to get a little more dedicated to it. Excuse me. Um, what kind of hashtags should I use? No, it's not up yet. No. Um, I'm just thinking of like hashtags that I can add. Do you guys have any ideas for hashtags that I can use? I'm putting very random ones in. <laughs> um. But like Ink art, ink, ink work, art, drawing, dark art, swamp witch, fantasy, dark fantasy. I'm just trying to think of what other hashtags can work. Because I want my Instagram to be sort of like official or whatever. Hmm.
So I guess the next art piece I'm going to work on for you guys is going to be another concept art for uh, for the graphic novel, eh? Yeah, I think so. And I don't want to, like, go overboard, but I do want to try and hit some people's timelines. Okay, that's probably pretty good. Okay, boom! Okay! There we go! Watermark. None of the watermarking things work. There are so many programs to remove them. If anybody's actually serious about it, they can get rid of it. Like, I, even if... Even if I work my name into this, they'll still just cover it up with a little bit of black. Like, it's kind of insane. And... As sad as it is to say, art theft just happens all the fucking time. The one thing that I really have going for me is that I literally have videos recorded of me drawing this piece. So if anybody's like, I did this, I'd just be like, no, I did. They'd be like, no, I did. I'd be like, yeah, here's this uh, eight out, here's the seven hour fucking recordings of me literally working on it. <laughs> you wanna fight? And I have such a specific style, too. Really? <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> kind of horrible, but also kind of cool at the same time. You've never shown me your art. I would love to see it. You should show me your art. Yeah. DM it on the art gallery. Five million. <laughs> the first comment I get on the art piece is DM it on at the art gallery. Five million. Click on it, you know. And it has 3.8 million, not five. And I bet you, I bet you, I absolutely bet you that a lot of these are fake. See, this is the this is a problem because I I can't see how many people like posts anymore. It just says X person and others. But in here if it says and others, then it means that they're not getting thousands of likes. Most likely, most likely. Well, I mean, it's definitely a bot, but you know, they they have three point eight million followers, but they're not even getting thousands of likes. Fucking full of shit. That's what they are. Hey, Wednesday. Wednesday, I finished the piece. There's a few things I can see that I might want to touch up, but all in all, I think I'm pretty well done. Cause like, I don't want to overdo it and then ruin it. But yeah, I think I'm think I'm done. Hold on. Just gotta restart my phone real quick. Cause I did slap a little filter on it. Oh, I'm absolutely gonna do more. Absolutely. I've really, 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 really been enjoying these art streams, I'll be totally honest. And a lot of people actually like show up to them, and a lot of people find me through them as well, which is really, really cool. 
I'm really, really, really glad about that. <laughs> it's... It's neat! It's really neat! You know? Uh, I can't wait for my dad to see. My dad really, really likes my art. And my mom. My mom isn't really gonna like this graphic novel as much, though, because it's very gory. She's not into the gory stuff. But she likes fantasy. She's just not as into the dark fantasy like I am. But she still likes my art. <laughs> my goal is to make a really, really cool and beautiful graphic novel and then maybe one day have it turned into like an animated movie or series. But I don't think that live action would be good for mine. Like if someone approached me and was like, I want to do a live action. Like they would need to be like, yo, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to have you on the board of creative directors. You know, like that's the only way I would ever allow that to happen. Unless they're like, yo, here's a billion dollars. And I'd be like, all right, sure. Have fun. <laughs> Just fucking, you know. Oh my god! Uh, no, there's no way they would cancel it. It's no way. My shit's too cool. That's actually, uh, that's actually not true. They canceled the Dark Crystal, so, you know, fuck them. I don't know if I would trust- I don't think I would trust Netflix with it. I think I would have to- I think I would have to deny it. Like, if HBO came to me, I'd be like, yeah, but... Not Netflix. Especially if it was gonna be animated. I don't think that Netflix does animated stuff right. Like, not for my style. But again, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I don't even have the graphic novel finished. I'm still working on the concept art. Yeah, but they also didn't have a script to go off of. And I would have it in the I would have my lawyer go over the contract and be like, I have to be in charge of the main the main creative direction. You know. And I liked Game of Thrones. I liked it. Arkea R. R. Martin. Okay, but I've actually left my town, unlike George. Well, I think he's left his town at this point, but you know. It was rushed. They should have turned it into two seasons. They should have turned the final season of Game of Thrones into two. Season eight should have been the army and then season nine should have been um, dealing with the fallout. Because there's a lot going on there. Excuse me. Wow, January, uh... Oh, February 5th was my technical last post. So January 21st, and then January 28th, and then February 5th. My progression. Okay.
Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, if you guys have Twitters and you want to retweet my art, uh, that would be really cool. <laughs> so that other people can see it. This post looks okay. Okay. It's posting and tweet was sent. Oh my gosh, Bing, yeah? Okay, well I did it. Here we go. What? Inked art tattoo also left a comment. Send me pick heart pointy face with their at inked art what the f for a tattoo thing this isn't even a tattoo although if someone got this tattooed on them that would be so cool although it would also be really weird because like where would you even put this on your body oh thank you well thank you Rath. I appreciate it Thigh, maybe. Or like, maybe like along the side here. That could be cool. The main reason I started watching Game of Thrones swept- Yeah, true, that is true. The whole back. Maybe the upper back. <laughs> Just because it's very square, you know? No, I do agree that they sped up the last season way too much. And that episode was also way too dark. Like, the lighting was fucked. It really was. <clears throat> but I, like, I don't know. I'm not too bothered by it. Oh. Hold on. Let me check a thing real quick. energy to reply to this email right now. <laughs> okay, so I got something off Amazon yesterday, right? And it was delivered today. And so I checked my phone and it was like, oh, here's a picture of your delivery. And I'm like, okay. So I click on it and they left it up the street. There are so many houses between me and where they left the package just in the snow while it's raining out there. And so I'm like, what the fuck? And I go out to see if it's there, because, fuck, it's right beside- like, it's on the road. Pretty much. It's, like, right beside the fucking road. It's at an intersection, okay? So I'm like, oh my god, if that package is still there, by the time I get there, it'll be a miracle. Of course, I walk up the street and it's not even there. And so I- I message Amazon and I'm like, what the fuck, okay? And they're like, oh, just click this link and send in a ticket and explain what happened. And I'm like, yeah, okay, so I did. And then they're like, we have given you a $20 Amazon.com gift certificate. And I'm just like, I'm Canadian. I use Amazon.ca, not .com. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. And they 
also did not use the email that I normally use for it. Ah! <laughs> I don't have the mental energy to reply to this right now. I really don't. Oh my god. I'm just gonna drink my beer. You know. Man. I've got to pee. I'll be right back. One sec.
I'm back. Oh, thank you, Hoi. Not water, though. I've got beer today. Thank you. Um, I just want to send the piece to a couple people. My grandma also really wants wanted me to send her the finished one too. Is there anyone else? Um Who else? I think that's it. Oh, no, one more. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm back. Hello, hey. Um, I'm probably not gonna start a new piece tonight, so I'll probably just hang out and just chatting for a little bit. Um... But... I'm finally done. I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep this out, actually. Just so that, like... If people wanna see it, I can just... You know, go... Whew. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh man, it feels. Oh, hold on, let me just turn down this light. Oh, thank goodness. That was. I just needed to keep it bright so that I could see my art properly. Uh, but yeah, hello, hey, hi, what's up? There we go. I just that edge showing pissed me off. I don't know. Well, so far my sister got back to me. Wait, what? What, uh, MLG? The art? I- I did make this, yeah. I drew this. Yes. I'll be starting a new piece next week next Friday. Um, I've already got an idea. I'm probably gonna do a couple rough sketch- go for- oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> hey, guy. Thank you, MLG. Yeah, I, um, I have- I, I have an idea for the next piece. How you doing, Kai? I finished- I finished the art! Actually, I'm gonna post it in the Discord as well, hold on. It's just so people can see it. Finally done! Oh my god.
Alright, hold on one moment. I'm also gonna post it directly into the Discord. Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, all right. This song cuts out. I always forget that. Ugh. Okay. Oh, my nose. Alright, well, now we can just chill. Now that I've actually finally finished it. Okay. So, how are you doing? <laughs> My makeup is very uneven today. So you'll just have to deal with that. There's... It's... It's... It's better on this side, I think. Well, actually, they both have their... Ups and downs. But they're different. A kit tour, I mean... <laughs> oh, it's not a lot. It's, it's really not a lot. <laughs> I'll just show you. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> That's it for right now! I haven't touched the charcoal quite yet. I'll experiment in a bit, but... This is all I used for that art piece. Just these. That's it. Wow. Crazy, right? I have a bit of a brand that I like. Stadler. They're they're good. I haven't used anything out of the kit yet, no. Not quite. I will, I'm just I wanna wait until that pencil runs out, and I'm not quite sure. I'm a little hesitant to do the charcoal because I don't have a protectant spray yet. So when I get a spray to protect the art, then I can use the charcoal, if that makes sense. Because otherwise, if I do anything to it, it gets moved the wrong way. You look at it the wrong way. It smudges. So I can't use the charcoal until I get a spray to protect the charcoal. You know? Yeah, Stadler's amazing. They make the best shit. That- this sharpener? I've literally had, like, since middle school or something. And I'm almost 30. And it still does a great job. Found that other kit yet? Wait, what other kit? Which other kit? Oh, 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 um, I think I know what you're talking about, and... I don't think so. Wait, yes. Yes. See, here's the thing, Hoy, I do not have hairspray. Because I'm allergic to it. So I just don't have it. Yeah, Sapra, I bet you only use Stadler, though. Because <laughs> I only use- I mostly use Stadler. Though Castle's also good. Which is, uh, good, because that's what my dad got me. I will be. No, I'll only be using the charcoal spray outside. Oh, of more Stadlers. Yeah, okay, well, in that case. 
then yes. Yeah, Shell. Winding it up, are you? Hmm. Yeah, see, I haven't experimented too much beyond their pencils, erasers, and sharpeners. Excuse me. But I would be down to try their other products, because they only make quality products, as far as I know. So, there's that. <laughs> there's that. Feel the alcohol drinking sinners? Fuck yeah, dude. Have you seen my art? Of course I'm a sinner. Wait till you see the next concept piece I'm working on. I already have ideas. Okay, sounds good, Sabra. I'd love to see. The thing is, is that the concept pieces that I want to work on, I don't want them to have any spoilers to the story. So I'm going to have to be selective with what I show you guys. Also, it's, the hair is finally starting to even out a little more. It's a lot better on this side. But it's it's finally doing the trick. It's finally, finally actually starting to lighten. Give it another month. It'll be good. Either way, it's still it's growing, but you know, I'm working on it. I'm just surprised at how dark it turned out. Like, this was... Like, some people were saying, like, oh, you look good with black hair. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but the box art was blonde. Could you imagine expecting to get blonde hair and then ending up with almost black And I put it on bleached hair. So bleached it was almost white. Like the box art was like a light blonde. Or like a medium blonde. But not brunette. Like you could tell it was blonde. And this was this was like a dark brunette. <sighs> I don't care. It looks better like this than it did before, but still. Like, really? Did you have to do that? <laughs> oh well. Box dye is just shit in general. It's alright though, I'm growing right out. Hey, <laughs> Sean, maybe. <laughs> Ugh. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Um, Sean, can you also do me a favor and tell me how many pixels it is? Or like what, like, like how big is it? Let me see here, because I'm pretty sure on my screen it shows it's pretty fucking large, which is good. Oh, that's- that's pretty decent. Wow. That's a decent- it's actually a decent size. I just sent you it on, um, Discord. No rush, by the way. Absolutely no rush. Damn! <laughs> oh, nice! That's good! That's really good. Oh, excellent. Got shit to work with. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. Ooh. 
What are we doing? Oh, I was just... Uh, I just sent the picture to Sean and he told me how big it is and I'm just like, wow! Oh my gosh, Bing. Bing just laid down on my foot. Bing, you are a big cat. Like, you're not tall, you're not very long, your legs are about an inch long, but god damn. Oh, she started purring. Oh, it feels kind of nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bing. Oh, she's headbutting my hand. Yeah. Not wrong at all. She's... yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Oh, Bing, you're okay. Last night I was playing with her with a string. She was having the best time. <clears throat> so guys, I was thinking for this that I would have prints and then have it on like a t-shirt. Um, but I'm gonna go with a different style of t-shirt because the original art that I have on my Teespring, it's, it's, it's I got a, I got a tank top. It's way too low, but the t-shirt, it had the perfect positioning. Yeah, I think just a t-shirt is fine. So I'm going to do a print and t-shirt. I don't think I want to put it on anything else. I might also like specifically make designs for like phone cases and stuff like that because I know they're available, but I don't know. But for now, I think I'm just going to keep it to prints and a uh, t-shirt. We'll see. We'll see. Excuse me. I'm actually really surprised by how many people like prints. If I had known that years and years ago, I would have started doing art way more, like in a way more dedicated fashion. You know? <clears throat> I would have been way more... <laughs> way more into it if I knew so many people wanted prints. I could have been a lot more far ahead, but it's okay. Oh, thank you, April. April, I finally finished my art piece. See? There's a much better quality version of it on my Twitter and uh, Instagram. On well, my art ones, but yeah. Oh, thank you, Chaos. I'll figure it out. And if there's any specific pieces that I have that you guys want prints of, uh, let me know too, because I do have some of my art up. Um, I just don't know, you know? I've never... Um, I've never really done this before, so I'm trying to figure it out. I also don't know pricing. So I'm going to have to do some digging and find out what I want to price it as. Hmm. I don't know. I'll sort it. <clears throat> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Take my time. I don't want to rush it. Um...
Hold on a sec. So one of my friends um, that I sent the picture to um, uh, wants to get it, but they're like my best friend. So I told them I would order a sample and use it for like promotional purposes, but then like sign it and then they can get it for the sample price instead of full price. I figured that would probably be better for them. Yeah, I'd love to see uh, their Instagram. I love seeing other artists. But yeah, for sure. For sure, eh, bro? I don't know if you'll be able to post, like, a link here. Shell can help you with that. I don't know how to do that, but... Yeah. <laughs> we'll sort it out. Ugh. Okay, 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 cool. Yeah, you post a link. I want to see. <clears throat> Just letting you guys know, I'm probably heading out at like 10 tonight. Oh, I know Mr. Creep! I know this dude! Yeah, I fucking love this guy's art. I, yeah, I follow him. He's really, really, really cool. But he does a lot of stuff with color. But similar style, yeah. I could see where you'd get that. Yep. This guy's fucking sick. Yeah. I'm shocked he has so few followers. I'm actually really shocked. He's got 466 posts and only 3,000 followers. Ugh. My hope in this world for making my art something successful just crumbled a little. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's alright. It's a hobby anyways first. Always. But still. Damn. Man, his art is beautiful. It's, it's not fair. So many amazing artists just don't get the attention they deserve. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, it's it's really hard to like like if they want to make art their main thing, it's really difficult to establish where you are. Because I feel like you really 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 need to all either already be big or you need to hit a mass market which is something that I don't really want to do I want to do my style and I want to just do that and it's really hard to compete with a lot of the big artists that do like I feel like right now like anime inspired pastel stuff is really really popular and I feel like really like dark shit is not I think people are really like tired of dark shit because I don't know maybe people are upset or something but the cultural shift has happened I should have been an artist in the 80s I would have done great but no it's 2022 honestly April during my art streams I get a lot of new people I've actually been really shocked I feel like a lot of people say discoverability is next to nothing here, but I, I, I get new people, like, through Twitch, you know? It's interesting, like, more than I thought I would.
Can always fall back on doing furry commissions? No. Cave drawings in the woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Well, the 80s had some of my favorite art. The 80s had the vast majority of my favorite animated movies and like so many amazing dark artists. It's incredible. The 80s is a big inspiration for me art-wise and musically, to be honest. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, so there's that. Oh well. <sighs> Maybe one day my graphic novel will be someone's favorite. And they'll love it. And I'll be very happy about that. <sighs> I've got so many people that are like, oh, you should send out prints to people. You should auction it off. You should you should sell the original. I'm just like, dude, I don't even want to leave my house. <laughs> How am I going to start shipping out prints to people if I don't even want to leave my house? Like, if I'm leaving my house, it's to go for a nature walk. Not to go and like dox myself at a fucking post office <laughs> with people oh it's not even that it's just they're like oh it's international well we need your real name and your address so we can send it out and then it's like oh well you could use a p.o box but it'll cost you four hundred dollars a year i'm just sitting here like no nah. I'll just use Teespring or something. <laughs> Upload to site, and then people can just click a link and be like, I want that. And then I can be like, I... And then they get it, and then that site fulfills it, and I get a percentage. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's more than fine. If they want a signed copy or something, maybe one day I'll be good enough to go to an expo and have my art there. Maybe. Hey, Drew. Drew, I finished the art piece. I finished it. I finished it. I posted it in the Discord. If you want to see a good version of it. Yeah, and also, like, I'm Canadian and the vast majority of my audience is from either, like, the UK or America. Like, the States. I have a surprising amount of, 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 uh, of British followers. Like, there are a lot of people from the UK <laughs> that come in here. I've noticed this. <laughs> A lot. I know, Sean. Disgusting. Hey, man, I also like to drink tea and eat crumpet. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Dude, no kidding. I just get all the degenerates. That's what it is. Do they still do TwitchCon? And they don't do it in Canada. I would have to- oh my god. I would have to do international travel to go to a TwitchCon. Degenerate user. Oh, well, I'm definitely not going this year. I'm building a house this year. I don't- I don't have the time or money to go out of the country. U.S. and E.U. <laughs> Where in the United States? Is it in, like, California? Is it in California? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, I would probably struggle with it. Because, like, I get panic attacks when I go to conventions like I went to Comic Con in 2019 and I blacked out from a panic attack
It was really embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. I had to leave, and I went, and I had like, I had, I had a problem. Like I disassociated for like three days after that. Like I struggled so hard. I needed it quiet. I, I had, I had a hard time talking. Oh my god, I could not imagine going to a giant convention. It, okay, I did, however, fly to Germany to go to a reptile convention and I was fine. But that's a little different. Because if I went to a TwitchCon, then maybe there will be people there that would see me and come and talk to me, which is fine. But like, when I went to Comic-Con, I cosplayed and probably about 500 people took pictures of me. And there were so many people. And it was so overwhelming, and I didn't drink enough water or eat enough food because my anxiety was so bad that my stomach basically shut off. So I just like got changed into some extra large clothes, sat down silently eating some french fries doused in vinegar, and then I left. Concerts? I have to be drunk or you know, drunk to be there. I cosplayed as Riku from Final Fantasy X 2. <laughs> I love her. I think that just like the mass amount of attention that I got there was it was a lot. I was basically in a bikini. I was in a bikini and a miniskirt. Do do things so shameful that you can't be it wasn't even embarrassing, though. It was just overstimulating. You know? Like... It was very overstimulating. And there was nothing good at the convention, either. It was just a bunch of people, like... Just... <sighs> it was a lot of uninteresting stuff. Yeah, it was- oh my god. Everybody's faces just melded into one another. There were a few thousand people there. It- the biggest convention hall pretty much in Toronto. And then I also got sick, of course. You can't- you can't go to a convention like that and not get very sick. It was bad. Yeah, they did. And I went with friends too, so it's not even like that helps. Thank you, Victor. I messed it up a little bit, it's because I'm not really used to doing makeup, but that's okay. If I keep myself at an angle, you can't tell. <laughs> Must be the D and D. It's true because the D and D people are the only people that see other people. <laughs> yeah, conventions are gross. It was literally like, like people were bumping into each other. Like you couldn't go anywhere in the convention without touching at least six people at the same time. Yeah, I'm just not interested in most conventions. They're just... I don't know. For me, they're just kind of a waste of time. Alright. I'm gonna stay until the end of this... Like... Soundtrack. So there's about... 13... No, there's about 14 minutes left. And then I'm heading out. If we can get to 850 subs, I'll stick around for another hour. Hey, man. Sup? There's one of the scientists who kidnapped you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. ArcCon, no. Oh my god, I. After seeing how fucking Tanacon went down, I don't need to have my own convention. I'm also not popular enough to even be considered. 
Dude, we got 23 people in here. You think I can have a convention? I got like 200 views on my fucking YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start a convention. <laughs> wow. I mean, I liked the first Saw movie. It would be a safer convention. You're not wrong. It would be a lot safer. A Saw con? I mean, probably not. No. God, I'm so hungry. I've got food right here. I should eat it. You know, Sean, the bar was set low, but I might have to dig a little deeper to make a little hole in the ground so that we could set the bar just a little lower. I'm just saying. Six feet might do it. We can put you down there. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Can't ban a mod! <laughs> you speak so... so surely. <laughs> Well, we can't ban you, we can bury you. I could get- I could get sh uh, Shell to do all the work for me, maybe. And then that would be a lot less work for me to do. Although, if I felt motivated, I could do something about it. <laughs> I don't think a mod can take mod status from another mod. I think it has to be me. I think it has to be me. Oh my gosh, are you really doing this? You know, I could log out right now instead. I could log out right now. This is literally the stupidest joke I've ever heard in my whole fucking life. Literally, literally the stupidest joke I've heard in my entire life. Yeah, down for a game of Phasmophobia, show. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. One day, when you're big and strong, you'll understand. <laughs> Shell just stepping forward to get fed to the ghost. Mm. 
Maybe in a bit we'll play some Phasmophobia. I'll let you know, Chaos. I'll get another beer for it. <clears throat> I'm gonna really miss playing Stardew Valley when we start playing Dark Souls 3 again. We gotta get a lot done next week, and by a lot done I mean like... Probably just gonna see what happens. You got it. Oh! Did you hear that? Oh my god. felt so good. Yeah, I feel like that sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I guess I do too. I'll update it shortly. Yeah, I mean, it won't take me long to update. <sighs> I feel that, Shell. I feel that. Odin, please stop. Odin! Yeah, it was just, ooh, it was just little updates, right? So, nothing serious. Lightheaded. Hmm. Neck exercises are weird. Anyways, my dudes, it's about that time where I say goodbye and good night. Odin, come on. If you haven't already, go follow my Twitter. Um, I also have an Instagram, and there's technically a TikTok that I post literally the most random shit to. Uh, there's also my art Instagram and Twitter right there. If you want to follow them, you can, then you can see more of my art. I just posted a new piece tonight. Um, 
I got something stuck in my mouth. Oh my goodness. Odin, literally, leave it alone. <sighs> There's also a Discord you're welcome to join. Um, just be nice to people. Don't be rude, obviously. Keep it safe for work, please. And obviously, no being inappropriate with minors. And then there's also a few YouTube channels that you can check out if you would like to. Um, I've got my sandbox channel, which is Archaea Zero, where I just post the most random shit. And then there's the Archaea Archive, which is just previous streams. And then there is also their reaction channel or whatever, where I post reactions to stuff because I like stuff and I didn't want to have a bunch of them on my main channel. So there's that. Nope, no hitting on coal miners, not allowed. Illegal. They got work to do. Anyways, thank you very much everybody for hanging out. I'll see you guys in the Discord or I'll see you guys next Tuesday for more Stardew Valley. Next week I am playing Stardew Valley, um, you know, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then another art stream on Friday. I will actually be here on the 18th. And then on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, I will be playing um, Dark Souls 3. I'm gonna be getting back into my old save file and I'm going to be fighting all of the bosses that I haven't beaten so far. I beat the main game and the DLCs, but I have not beaten some of the secondary bosses, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I don't think I'll really need three streams for it, but it would be really nice to give myself a little bit of time and to also just kind of get back into it. And then on the 25th, which is the Friday, I will be on all night playing Elden Ring. So be here for that if you don't mind watching someone play Elden Ring. We'll see. Either way, thank you very much everybody for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the future. See ya, bye! Bye.